Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm doing something simple. I'm going to be reviewing the Halo Shields Requiem Lance Pack. It is $15 in the U.S. And it comes with four figures as seen here. And I will show you what they are going from lowest ranking to highest. So we start off here with the let's get a little with the grunt miner who comes with the fusion rod or not fusion rod fuel rod cannon. A uh, very simple figure. He's just like the newer models. Um, not very exciting, but you kind of have to have him if you're getting this set. Okay, and then uh, I'm trying to put him back on a stand, but he doesn't get it, I guess. So, next we have the Jackal Miner, which is personally one of my favorites from this set. And one of my favorites that I have, one, because it's my first one I've ever had. I've never had a Jackal before. And two, because it comes with the little shield. The little cool shield. But otherwise, this is a great figure. Um, but he comes like in a little plastic packaging, and so most people will try to pull his head, and his head snaps off very easily when trying to pull him out of a packaging. Um, next, we have the Elite Miner. You can tell from his helmet if my camera would focus. Okay, hold on, let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So, we have this guy, and I love the purple color they all come in. This one's got some nice hints of silver in it. Overall, it's a very nice figure. And then finally, we have the Elite Ranger, which is super easy to see because of his helmet. If I turn it back, uh, yeah, um, get to focus again. It's a very nice figure. I'll put him back over here with his friends. And so now I'm going to show you the two terrain pieces or I call them terrain pieces. You can call them whatever you want. I don't care. So first off, we have this protection shield, I guess. This light energy shield. And uh, pretty simple. It's like four pieces. Maybe, maybe five. I don't know. Six. It's very small pieces. As you can see, like, if I can get it close enough. It's only, like, this front part is two pieces. It's a complex build for such a small thing. And you know, you can fit figures behind it and stuff if you want. Um, and then there's the turret, which is awesome. Why wouldn't you want an alien turret? on a battlefield. Um, it is detachable, so you can have your figures walking around with a giant turret. And then if you don't want that, just keep it attached on its stand. Um, oops, sorry, my finger just got in the way. And also, didn't mention this, but it fires with a simple mechanism. Right here you just push that down, boom. It's probably too fast for my iPad to record, but there's a bullet somewhere. It, it shoots these little little blue pegs right there. A little blue peg. But yeah, that is the Shields of Requiem Lance. 
and I'm gonna quickly be right back because I'm gonna do a second thing because this is a super short video. See you in a second. Okay, I'm back. You probably just heard me sneeze. Yeah. So, um, here, what I'm doing next is the awesome, I don't use this in my left hand, well, you've already seen it, the awesome Banished Ghost. It has two turrets here on the front. They don't shoot anything, but they're just, they're cool. Um, this can lift up. I don't know why it would. Uh, but I guess you can, like, store grenades and small weapons in there. Um, your driver sits here. And this set comes with the, the Banished Brute, which is obviously gray and red. But the reason I don't have him over here is because... I got a very bad figure, and he his like his connecting joints don't connect that well. But yeah, there's not much to say about this one. It moves around pretty easily. And then here are some pieces to the UNSC Jackrabbit. I was missing a bunch of these, so I sadly could not build it. But you know, creative thinking is very nice um i also find it funny how the vehicle is like four times the size of an elite but it wasn't made for elites it was made for brutes so um thank you for watching this video and i believe the banished group or not rip group um but the banished brute ghost um was like six seven dollars maybe uh it's not expensive they're great set set builders so i might buy another one but yeah thank you for watching this video and i will see you next time peace